So this video is kind of going to be like a hybrid. We're going to talk about what you can do in the fall, but also kind of the advantages of potassium, which is one of the main steps I want to talk about today. But centipede grass, you really want to look at applying potassium in the fall. Also keep uh, building your soil. So applying like a granular humic acid would be good. Uh, that That's just a great thing to do leading into fall and uh, add some carbon to the soil, which again, if you don't know kind of the advantages of adding carbon to the lawn, it really, it just adds kind of like these good housing sites for good things to happen. So it, it helps water absorption. That carbon in the soil is going to hold on to nutrients and water and even promote like microbial activity as well. So I'm going to keep applying uh, humic acid or biochar or whatever I can get my hands on and do that probably until November and then just take a break until, you know, probably February and start building the soil again. But if you want to do monthly applications of that, that's a really good idea. Uh, also, if you want to think about doing a pre-emergent, a fall application, uh, right around October, November is a good time to do that as the temperature, the soil temperatures go down to about, you know, anywhere between 55 and 65 degrees. Uh, you want to think about doing a pre-emergent. But like I said in the past, be careful with your pre-emergence with centipede because I've experienced a lot of negative effects with pre-emergence on centipede. So I like to avoid them when they're kind of intersecting with the growing season. So I wait until the grass is kind of shut down. Right now my grass is pretty much not growing anymore. We've had a couple of cool nights in the 50s and even in the 40s. And so the grass is really, really slowing down. I, don't, I haven't mowed in probably like at least 10 days. So it's really shut down and I'm just letting it kind of naturally go to sleep. We haven't had any rain um, in probably four weeks and I haven't been watering the grass at all. So I'm letting it kind of just naturally go to sleep. Another main thing you want to do in the fall is your potassium feeding. So let's talk about the advantages of applying potassium and what that's going to do to your grass heading into fall and, and winter. There are so many good benefits to applying potassium leading into the the cold weather. Because potassium is a macronutrient that is probably, it's the macronutrient that centipede likes the most. Out of the nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, centipede definitely likes potassium the most. So it's hard to find a potassium product uh, in retail stores that's just strictly potassium. You probably have to go online. I'll link to a couple of them below that are really good. I've got actually a dissolvable potassium sulfate, which I can mix uh, in water. It's really only like a tablespoon per like 32 ounce uh, hose-in sprayer. And I'll just throw it in there and apply like, throughout the month of October, I, I'm gonna try to apply it like three or four times because it's not gonna really be getting a whole lot down. Uh, the granular application, you'll get a lot more potassium down, but if you have something like I do here, you want to do, you know, a few applications if you can in the fall, like starting in September to October. And uh, that'll be a good idea. It will really strengthen up the turf uh, heading into these harsh conditions. So let's talk about a little bit of the specific benefits of potassium. Number one, it promotes the stem and leaf growth of plants. So potassium really aids in the photosynthesis process, which plants go through to create their main energy source, which is glucose. Potassium assists with that process. Number two, it strengthens the cell walls of both the leaf and the root. So it's going to be more uh, resistant to a lot of the harsh conditions that you see in the fall and the winter. Number three, it enhances root growth. So if you see on the picture of the potassium sulfate that I have, it really markets the fact that it does help with the root system of the, of the plant or the grass, whatever it is you're applying it to, which will in turn make the plant stronger and more resistant to harsh conditions. And another one of the main advantages of applying potassium is that it improves the immune system of the plant. So it really fights off or helps to fight off disease and drought stress. One more thing, the type of potassium is important as well. You want to try to get a potassium sulfate product or the liquid potassium with a, I believe is a potassium acetate. Uh, the muriate of pot, potash, it's called MOP. 
it's cheaper for the manufacturers to develop and so it's a little bit saltier uh, you don't want a whole lot of salt build up on your in your soil uh, centipede although it's not going to like kill anything or have any kind of noticeable impact I think over time it might because all the, of all that salt build up potassium sulfate is just less salty and uh, will be it's kind of the more pure form of potassium so if you can get potassium sulfate or the liquid potassium that's the way to go uh, or the dissolvable like I had earlier thank you guys for watching if you haven't subscribed uh, please do so look out for more videos specifically on centipede grass this is centipede central we'll see you next time